We keep hunting every day, sometimes even every hour. Hackers never take a day off, and neither do threat hunters. Day by day, we encounter different challenges and strive for improvement. On the bright side, we identified a few factors significantly contributing to successful threat hunting. They are not a matter of preference, they are absolute requirements. In this episode, I am going to break down these must know factors. Hi, I am Isam Eslahi, and you are watching another episode of the Cyber Threat Hunt 101 series by Nothing Cyber. Subscribe for more, share with your friends, and ensure the notification bell is on fire. Successful threat hunting involves strategic planning, technical expertise, and the right tools and resources. These critical factors are categorized based on their nature, role, and contribution to the threat hunting process. In general, we should consider three key aspects, strategic and organizational factors. These factors set the high-level direction and foster a proactive cybersecurity culture and mindset. Operational and technical factors. Hunt in action. These factors collectively contribute to a more effective hands-on approach and empower the technical side of threat hunting, the actual job at hand. And finally, the most important one, key enablers. The foundational elements underpin strategic planning and practical execution. This episode centers on key enablers, but let's take a brief look at management and technical factors. In the bigger picture, threat hunting isn't solely about technical skills, but strategies and mindset. This includes high-level planning, fostering a proactive cybersecurity culture, setting priorities, and promoting collaboration and information sharing among different teams. Furthermore, flexibility and adaptability play a crucial role by enabling dynamic adjustments in response to emerging threats and shifting organizational needs. What else? The lifeblood of all, budget, budget, and budget. It ensures that teams have the necessary resources, tools, and training. In brief, these factors are crucial because they provide the overall direction and support needed for effective threat hunting. It's fantastic when the decision makers lend their support. On the technical and operational side, a successful threat hunter excels at collecting and analyzing data, identifying suspicious activities, and investigating threats. This requires the right skills, tools, and well-defined procedures and workflows. Not to mention both factors need ongoing learning and training to shape the mindset, increase awareness, and improve the team's technical skills. Yet, their full potential may only be tapped with the support of key enablers. The key enablers, total visibility, data quality and availability, and situational awareness provide complete oversight, essential context, high-quality data, and real-time insights for threat hunting. What are these factors? What challenges do they bring, and what are their roots? How can we address them? Let's find out. Visibility is about having a comprehensive and detailed view of what is happening within networks and systems, including monitoring activities, traffic, events, systems and user behaviors, and many other things. This relies on multiple factors, but it all starts with a robust and current asset inventory, a detailed list of physical and digital resources. According to the Ultimate Guide to Attack Surface Management by Buckcrowd, one out of three successful attacks are against unknown or unprioritized assets. Remember the Scope X? Scope X refers to any unknown in an organization that we may not be fully aware of their risk or even their existence. The link for the back cloud guide is in the description. It's worth reading. Shift to remote work, cloud infrastructure, third-party vendors, and shadow ITs are a few examples that contribute to visibility gaps. Incomplete or outdated asset inventories result in blind spots, where threat hunters are unaware of specific devices or systems. This limits their ability to monitor and detect suspicious activities across the networks. Not only that, but a list of significant challenges. Comprehensive asset inventory and attack surface management are the minimum steps to enhance visibility. Knowing what we have reduces the risk of overlooking assets or any potential entry points. There are many other ways. Please leave a comment if you know any. 
By the way, even if we have got substantial visibility, threat hunting is all about the data. We migrated our system to the cloud, thinking everything would be perfect. Because it's the cloud. During a regular threat hunt, we discovered that the logs we looked for were not enabled in the cloud environment. A misconfiguration? Human error? Our initial service level agreement issue with the service provider? Who cares? Data is not there and we literally can't do anything. No data, no hunt. It's not just about data availability. Data quality matters equally. Data quality consists of several critical factors that collectively ensure data is trustworthy and valuable for threat hunting and informed decision making. Let's put them all in a table. Data accuracy means there are no errors in the data. For instance, in a log entry, data accuracy ensures correct event details and IP addresses. A bad example could be any errors or duplicates in event timestamps. Reliability means we can trust and count on data sources, like trusted threat intelligence providers. It becomes uncertain when information comes from sources that haven't been verified. Data must be directly related to the current threat hunting objectives, such as abnormal user access or data transfer patterns that may indicate insider threats. Collecting extensive but unrelated network traffic data is not a good practice in this scenario. Completeness ensures that data is complete and without any gaps, just like having a complete user access log, which feels like a happy dance. On the other hand, missing entries or gaps can be linked to oops not again practices. Data must be available promptly without time gaps. Recent email logs are crucial for a timely phishing threat hunt. Delayed access due to storage or retention issues can hinder timely threat hunting and response. Several factors can impact data availability and quality, including misconfigurations and human errors, limited access and controls, infrastructures overload or failures, and cyber attacks. Data validation and quality assurance and data backup and recovery are two essential practices that help us improve data quality and availability. It is important to note that there are many other practical measures and strategies to address these issues. Quality data empowers threat hunters to tackle cyber threats effectively. Yet, achieving this depends on having a solid situational awareness. As Suanze wisely said, if you know neither the enemy nor yourself, you will succumb in every battle. Situational awareness helps us understand our environment and the current threat landscape and threat actors' activities, the enemies. It involves recognizing and formulating benign and abnormal patterns through profiling and baselines and staying informed about potential threats and attack tactics via threat intelligence and threat modeling. Consider a scenario where we are dealing with a highly diverse and complex digital environment characterized by dynamic changes. But we have no baseline to tell us what is typical for network traffic, system activities, or user behaviors. How are we supposed to spot deviations? We are operating in the dark without any threat intel to clue us what hackers are up to. On the top of that, with no record of threat modeling, we have yet to learn how the attacks may affect us. It's a bit like a sailing without a compass in uncharted waters. We can certainly do better than this. Establishing a baseline for normal behavior and activities. Integrating threat intelligence feeds into our context-aware hunting process. Understanding our current setup and limitations and sharing insights across teams are genuinely transformative. Let's summarize the session and quickly put all the success factors together again. Fantastic! In the next episode, we will talk about skills and tools. Stay tuned.